I am at the Maison Poincaré, which is France's first museum entirely dedicated to mathematics. Located in a historic building where the French physicist and Nobel Prize winner Jean Perrin had his office, this museum is spread over an area of 900 square meters. This museum hosts both permanent and temporary exhibitions as well as workshops for high school students. One of its objectives is to show mathematics in action. Let's find out more. I'm now joined by Sylvie Benzoni Gavage, who is the director of the Institut Henri Poincaré. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, can you tell us briefly how this museum came into being? Well, we designed it uh, collectively. We gathered some people who are interested, who are researchers, and also some people involved in outreach or uh, teaching. And uh, we just split the, the people into groups de travail, workshops, uh, in order to design each of these spaces in the permanent exhibition. What is the philosophy of this museum? <laughs> Well, the philosophy is that first we are uh, an international center for research, so we want to show mathematics as they are today, so, uh, how they are much more developed than they were when, okay, 2,000 years ago, and much wider than what the pupils learn at school. So this is the main idea, to show uh, current mathematics and that there is some research in mathematics and it's wide and very in interesting and there are many people doing that and they want to share their enthusiasm. I'm now joined by Sally Sicarda of the Institut Henri Poincaré. Thank you, Sally, for your time. What can visitors see inside this museum? So we have a permanent exhibition and a temporary exhibition. Uh, in the permanent exhibition you can enjoy things like a football ball <laughs> and the relation to math and football, for example, through uh, the Théorème des Quatre Couleurs. And here in Modélisé, for example, you can learn things about data, how data is related to artificial intelligence and why you shouldn't uh, let your information on the internet and what people do with your information. There is also a part, a more historical part, about uh, what math and geometry have, uh, and geography have together, what math and medicine, why uh, they join, and uh, our temporary exhibition is about uh, intelli artificial intelligence and uh, how it plays a role in our everyday life. And there's also a unique experience called Holomath. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, so Holomath is an experience in mixed reality. So you have a uh, HoloLens. You can learn about math in a fun way by touching pollen grain. And uh, the first experience is about um, la marche aléatoire and about um, la planche de Galton.